Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the ultimate dream, money. Yes, that's right, the green paper that makes the world go round. And what's the easiest way to get more of it? By obtaining a well-paying and highly sought after job, of course. But who wants to spend years in a traditional university setting just to end up with a mountain of debt and a useless piece of paper? Not you, my friend. That's why we're bringing you the top five highest paying Google certificates. Because who says you can't have your cake and eat it too? So put down your student loan calculators, grab a drink, gently tap that like button, and let's learn how you can increase those numbers in your bank account without losing your sanity. Now, with all joking aside, these certificates are a fantastic opportunity, and I've gotten some of the most positive reviews from people who have left comments on the channel. And by the end of this video, you're probably going to learn why, and you're also going to have a much better idea of what career path you should go for, because these certificates typically will lead you to the high-paying, in-demand careers. So number five on the list is going to be the Google Digital Marketing and E-Commerce Professional Certificate. This is going to be the least high paying certificate on the list and I'll be honest with you, it barely made it on. And the reason for that is because this is a professional certificate that's hosted on Coursera. And those certificates are great, but Google also has their own in-house certificate program and those certificates might even be better. So when it comes to getting a job in digital marketing, I actually do think there are better options out there. But with that being said, this certificate is by no means a scam. So they claim you will be fully ready for an entry level job within six months. And according to Glassdoor, digital marketers make about $68,000 a year. Now that is typically more of an entry level salary. There's a lot of jobs down the line out there where you can easily make it to six figures. And there's also a bunch of different options within digital marketing. So for instance, there is SEO, which is search engine optimization. There is pay-per-click or PPC. There's also email marketing, which is a skill set in and of itself. So there are a ton of different opportunities to make really good money within digital marketing. And the truth is a great product or service is only half the battle. There are companies out there that probably have the best product or service on the market, but because of the fact they aren't good at marketing, their company ends up dying. And if you don't believe me, just ask the many businesses out there that have failed due to lack of marketing. Oh wait, you can't because they're not around anymore. So for instance, I've noticed this is a great career path for people who are creative, but they aren't all that good with technology. And the great thing is you can get an entry level job without having to get a college degree. This is one of those careers where there is just no way the colleges can stay up to date on what's actually working right now. What skill sets are valuable in the market? Usually colleges are teaching stuff that is five to 10 years outdated. And should you continue to pursue a higher rank within the career path, you might end up achieving the rank of chief growth officer. And chief growth officers make $433,000 a year on average, according to glass door. And one thing you might want to notice here, the base pay is 199,000, which is great right off the bat, but the additional pay is 234,000. So this is one of those career paths where if you are a high achiever and you're somebody who's like, hey, I'm going to double your business or I'm going to increase business by 20%, you are going to get huge bonuses for doing that. And you have the opportunity to not just make the company more money, but make yourself more money as well. And that's because skills like marketing and sales are directly tied to the company's bottom line. Whereas there's a lot of skill sets out there that are valuable, don't get me wrong, but it's a little bit harder to calculate how much you're making the company. So according to the certificate, here are some of the skills that you'll gain. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to say is there's a couple great things about these certificates. Specifically, most of the career paths that these certificates lead to are careers where you can do them remotely. So I know a lot of people do like to work either remote or hybrid jobs, and these are the careers where you're gonna get that opportunity. So for instance, if you'd like to, you can make really good money from an American company while you're traveling around the world to extremely desirable places like the Philippines, Portugal, Costa Rica, or Thailand. Hey guys, in the editing process right now, but quick pause to give you a special deal from Coursera. Coursera is currently offering the Coursera Plus monthly promo. This is where learners will get access to over six thousand courses and these include the google professional certificates that i've covered in this video and all of this for just one dollar in their first month subscription details are on the screen you can check it out now remember last year they did a promo similar to this i mentioned it in one of my videos a bunch of people got into it and they were super happy with it but a bunch of people missed out on it and this is going to be for a limited time so if you're on the fence about it this is the absolute best time to jump into coursera plus don't want you to miss out on it so it's going to be down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. But anyways, back to the video now. 
Next on the list is going to be the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. And this is actually one of my favorites. So this is currently my number one recommendation for people who are trying to get into data analytics. And before somebody gets triggered and starts typing, yes, I know it's data, not data. It just sounds weird to me. I say data, all right? Get over it. Now, according to Glassdoor, data analysts make about $71,000 a year. And again, this is typically more of an entry level role. So there's a lot of roles out there you can move into that are going to make much more. And data analysts excel at analyzing data to identify valuable insights, which will help clients in their decision making processes. So not only do you have to be relatively good at the collection and analyzing of data, but you also need to be able to communicate that data to other people so that they can make actionable changes within their business. Now, after moving on from data analyst, one career path you might go into is a chief data officer, and they make $269,000 a year. Now, here are some of these skills that you will learn from this certificate. Obviously, you're gonna be working with spreadsheets, data cleaning, data analysis, visualization, SQL, et cetera. One thing I really love about the Google professional certificates as well is, hey, maybe the certificate doesn't get you a job on its own, but there's a good chance it'll get you 60 to 80% of the way there. So you're still gonna need to have a good portfolio and you are gonna need to know the skills. You're gonna have to brush up on other things. But let's say you get like a month or two into this and you realize, hey, data really isn't for you. It's kind of boring, you hate statistics. Well, guess what? You can just move on to a different one of the certificates. And you didn't have to waste a ton of time, effort, or money like you would if you went to college. So this is a fast, cheap, and easy way to figure out what career paths are actually interesting to you. And that sounds like a much better idea than forcing 17 and 18 year olds to figure out exactly what they're gonna do with their life and making them take out $100,000 in student loans in order to do so. Next one on the list is another really good one and that is the Google Project Management Professional Certificate. So this is another one that you can complete in about six months, they say, but really all of these can be completed much faster than that. But project managers make about $84,000 dollars a year and project managers basically keep everyone else in the company happy and they assure that every aspect of the project is executed with high quality and it meets the deadlines. Now, as you can imagine, that is kind of more of a high pressure type situation. And the way I think of this career is it's almost like entrepreneurship with training wheels. So it's a really good career to go into if you're somebody who thinks that you might wanna start a business in the future. Now, again, this is more of an entry or mid-level role, but in the future, you can move on to other positions such as director of project management, and they make $164,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you can gain from this are going to be organizational culture, career development, strategic thinking, change management, project management, etc. So yeah, this is a really good one. I will say I did an entire video on this one, so I highly recommend checking those out. In fact, I think I did an entire video on all of them on this list. And one thing I will say about this is you will likely have to get another certificate beyond this one. But with that being said, you are gonna learn a lot of valuable things from this certificate. And on top of that, it is going to help you build your portfolio. So again, you can't really expect something that costs, I believe it's $39 a month to get you all the way there. You know, you are gonna have to do some work on your own. But with that being said, it's going to get you a significant amount of the way to getting that first entry level job, getting your foot in the door. The next one on the list is going to be the Google IT Automation Professional Certificate. Now, this one is IT related information technology, but it is going to add a little bit of coding in there. And they're going to teach you in demand skills such as Python, Git, and IT automation in order to advance your career. So there is a lot of different career paths you could go down with this one. For instance, software developer, it's such a broad term. There's like a hundred different types of software developers, but they make about $95,000 a year, according to Glassdoor. And of course, AI has been in the news like 24 seven recently. Everyone's freaking out about chat GPT and they think it's gonna be taking their jobs. And then of course, others, the smart people, the Elons of the world that are not Bobos are figuring out how they can use AI to better their own lives. Now, of course, this one is again, designed just like entry, maybe mid-level at most, but down the line, you might get a job like principal automation engineer and they make $144,000 a year. Now, here are some of the skills that you're gonna gain with this certificate, using version control, troubleshooting and debugging, Python programming, configuration management, automation, basic Python data structures, et cetera. So yeah, this one can be really good at entry level, but also for somebody who's maybe working in the technology industry in IT and they wanna learn some programming skills. Next one on the list is another great one. It's going to be the Google UX Design Professional Certificate. Now, UX stands for user experience, and this is another one where they say you're gonna learn in-demand skills that will have you job 
ready in less than six months. Now, this is one where I do like the certificate a lot, but with that being said, it's a little bit more difficult uh, to get into UX design than some of the others on the list. And the reason for that is because you're basically getting paid to do artistic things. And there's a lot of people out there that want to actually do art as a job. So it's a very attractive career path. Now, of course, there's UX and UI, and you know some of the career paths are gonna be a little bit more art related, and some of them are gonna be more just blunt force focusing on data. But with that being said, this would be a good, you know, get your foot in the door type of thing, no matter which way you wanna go. And according to Glassdoor, UX designers make $97,000 a year. So yeah, this is one of my top recommendations for people who want to get into UX design. I would say it's probably better to dip your toe by getting a certificate like this and figure out if it's something you actually want to get into rather than going straight into a boot camp. Although boot camps for UX design actually have a decent reputation. Now, like I said, I made a video for all of these individually, and I highly recommend you check out the most popular one, which is the Google IT certificate, and I'll put that right here.